Here's a quick video on installing um, the Warrior Risers on a Scrambler. Inherently, I think snorkels are fairly finicky, but I found that these were exceptionally finicky. A lot of wasted man hours adjusting things. We'll start with the right side here in the air box. So for the air box, you have the Warrior um, plate here that goes on top, which you silicone down and, and screw down. And then these here are just two um, plumbing rubber couplings that go from a, a one and a quarter to one and a half inch pipe. And then a 90, which I had to change from the Warrior kit to fit better. So a 90 and then into the pipe, which comes around. And then out in the wheel well come out and around and then uh, as I'll show you in a bit uh, you have to cut the plastic on the hood to get it up underneath or on top of the battery compartment okay so still on the right side here this is also a pretty finicky area here to get that uh, 90 or 180 degree bend there um, with enough play between the exhaust and your pipe that you're not going to melt it. Um, so yeah, we've got the original um, rubber uh, gasket there for uh, the standard um, stock breather and then I've got obviously three clamps which I've siliconed and um, clamped and then done that 90 degree bend with putting some heat tape um, on the uh, pipe as well. Uh, just because it is such a tight bend there, I've zap strapped it up top here so that it can't fall down at all and get close to the pipe. And as you can see, it wraps around pretty tight to the top of the frame there with a little bit of clearance uh, for your CVT. And then um, we're running uh, back up the uh, left side of the quad with the both the uh, intake and the uh, output uh, for the CVT. Um, I've seen people do it differently. I kind of like the way I managed to do this, which is running um, both these pipes up underneath the, uh, the, the air box. A lot of people will run this pipe directly through here, which is a little bit easier but in the end then you have to cut your plastics once you put them on uh, the plastic that goes right here so they do both fit up underneath there there are some wires there so it takes a little bit of finessing but in the end it's a cleaner job all right so those two pipes are running up and then the one comes up here and around your your uh your fuel tank and then the other one stays lower and it goes on the opposite side of the uh, the fill spout for your fuel tank and again just kind of like the other side it runs through the fender and you gotta cut the hood out a bit to fit it in the top So there's two air box intakes for this one. So the one on the other side, as we saw, had a 90 degree bend. This one uses the same uh, rubber coupling going from one quarter to one half. Um, and then uh, just basically runs straight over to the battery compartment. So one hose on each side of the steering stem and into the battery compartment um, I think this would have been better done with the triangle snorkel kit with a th with a two inch hose and just had one pipe would have been would, would have been a better idea. Just the same. I thought these wouldn't be very sturdy, but um, they are pretty sturdy. Just being clamped, basically sandwiched between um, the upper, the bottom, and the top of the uh, the plastic hood, so no issues there. Now they are made to um, connect together here, 
um, but if you don't drill the holes just perfectly down here you're going to find that they bind right here in order for them to actually connect right here mine actually binded so you'd have to move this hole up another quarter of an inch probably right to the edge of the uh, right to the edge of the the lip in the plastic there on both sides so that was just a bonehead move on my part but in the end they both work pretty decent that way and I think in the end they'll probably be easier to get off because they slip in right here I've kind of vaseline them so they come out easier but one at a time is easier to twist these out but if they're connected together you basically have to pull them straight out and with friction I don't know good luck so this way you can kind of maneuver one at a time and get them out And I don't do that much deep watering, so I haven't run any of the uh, the hoses, the bleeder hoses. In the scrambler, they all run up right underneath here anyway, so I don't anticipate going any higher than that. Okay, so real quick, uh, this is a setup for the uh, 2016 and up uh, scramblers for the wire warrior snorkel kit uh, that's the four hoses instead of the three so as you can see there's some cutting that has to be done here we have one of the snorkels from this CVT so we've cut the plastic all the way around here to bring that up through the uh, the wheel well. This wiring harness has to be rerouted over top of, so it usually goes straight through here, so it has to go around this brace down and around and I have once I get it around there I zap strapped it down to the frame to keep it low so some people cut all this off you don't have to if you just pop your rivet uh, and you can pull this plastic up as long as you loosen your uh, the gas cap uh, clamp underneath and you can pull this whole side up a bit you also have to um, remove this pop this out and this out they're just little clips and to do that you'll have to take the uh, this one little rivet plastic uh, rivet here out and then essentially the whole white part of the plastic will pop up just enough to get the uh, wiring harness around and it is long enough to go right back into its zap strap or sorry into its holder here so that's pretty easy. The other wiring I I changed was uh, the the positive side to the battery terminal. So I rerouted it. it usually went over top of the battery. I rerouted it underneath the battery. Just along the side here, it's not underneath, I guess it's just to the side. And then this <clears throat> other harness, which goes up towards your, uh, um, I'm not sure what this is, but um, I think it has to do with the battery charger. And that I routed through the center of the battery because 
these hard these um snorkels have to sit pretty low to be able to s actually get underneath the hood so that's just to help it out now he's abstracted it to the middle of the battery there um another thing is you're finding it'll be very close fit once these all get together it sits right up against this so by no means is this an easy kit to get to fit it's a lot of finicking around uh you can see i've slightly bent this hose as well to keep it lower over the frame um because otherwise yeah your heart your hood's not going to fit down properly so maybe i've restricted the flow a little bit there this is air intake for the engine but we have two here's the other air intake sorry air intake for the engine so there's two there's, there's plenty of uh air flow there these two here are for the intake and output of the cvt cool all right um yeah so we talked about the drilling of the holes in the uh, hood uh, they do have to be very precise as i found out i had originally drawn um, the hole to be a little bit higher uh, but then through some uh, process I had decided that it wouldn't fit there but in fact it should be right up close to there that would have made it a lot easier because what you'll find is that these two snorkels here um, if you clip them together as the risers the warrior risers are meant to be um, they'll come up and they'll they'll touch at the top of the riser so um, at the angles they're meant to be at so I as you'll see in a sec did cannot connect my risers together but they're still fairly stable actually quite stable I'm not too worried about their uh, structural integrity, so. Um, yeah, so we'll fit these together and then I'll give you an idea of how that looks.